Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to what is the opening day of the 16th European Championships. 55 UEFA member states tried their hand at becoming the finest of them all. Now we are left with the 24 who have made it to these finals. Opening day certainly has a special feel to it. The atmosphere combustible but joyous as we usher in a new era for this competition together with the hopes and aspirations of all that take part. Worth reminding ourselves too that 2020 is the 60th birthday of these championships and it is for that special reason that the competition is being held right across the continent. This, of course, one of the most recognisable venues in the Netherlands, perhaps the whole of the continent. It is the Johan Cruyff Arena. Well, that has got the juices flowing. And now this. Here it is then, the first page of the first chapter of this special tournament. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has a monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. Underway. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Well, I would say one of the most energetic midfielders you'll find in Jordan Henderson. He's added to all that running power with slicker passing and some very impressive finishing, and, and he's a proper leader now, too. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. Henderson crosses it in, and he's cut it out. And that has been clubbed away. Jordan Henderson. And that's sprayed out wide. Jordan Henderson. Alexander Arnold. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Perisic demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Well, I'm a believer in having faith in your ability, but he's overdone it then. Perisic. Rebic. He's through, now is he in? Rebic! Well, that looks a foul. Yeah, referee's given it. He's gone direct. And how good was that? Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy. And it's Croatia who take the lead. Oh, that is a bit special. Croatia take the lead, 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Great run on the overlap here. We can get that clear. Oh, a 
clearance is short. And it's Henderson. Played out to the right. In with a header! He scored! Just so calm under pressure. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a knee the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, no, you've got him, no, you don't. Brilliant. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, there's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost focus despite the setback. And this is thoroughly merited for me. Now they can go on better, possibly. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Kane. Clearance and very necessary. Alexander Arnold. And it's Henderson. Henderson goes looking. Sterling turns and goes back. Got a sight of goal here. Up to meet it! Oh, nearly. But nearly is nothing. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Modric. Vida. Chilwell sticks in a foot to win it back. Rebic. He's been bundled over. That is a foul. It's on and the finish! He came in hard, very hard. Rebic. Rebic! He's done very well to get to that. Well, it's the whistle goes to half-time. Well, it has been an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. And we are up to the break. Well, for us neutrals, this is fantastic. If you're a fan from either side, it's unpleasant. And as for the managers, check your heart rate. And it's been a decent 45 minutes. Competitive, certainly, and a goal each. And the game has already resumed here. No changes at the interval from either side. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Tries to get it forward quickly. Attempts to play it through. And it's Vida. Going through. Heads it! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, convincing, that most certainly wasn't. He did well to rescue it, though, I'll give him that. Henderson is now the subject of some adhesive marking. Well, he's the quarterback equivalent, so I'm not surprised that he's been closed down first. And he has been fouled there. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. He's got a chance from here, but not the kindest angle. So he's plotting something before playing it in. And he's there to clear it. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Modric drives it forward. Croatia have a free kick. And he's going to have his name taken. Well, we don't need to guess that they expect plenty of, of ball into the box. Yeah, it's quite a crowd scene in the middle now. Well, it's a situation that requires resilience now and, and plenty of fighting spirit. It has to be matched.
plays it long. Sterling. It's a good run down the left-hand side. He's got away. Has a pop! Well and truly turned on its head. Speed of thought, efficiency of movement, and certainty of outcome. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from the Lancet. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. England take the lead. Surprise, surprise. He just keeps on delivering, and listen, we all expect that. Balls out on the left now. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? England probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. The changes then in quick succession. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. This has gone, that's a foul. And no surprise, that's a booking. Croatia cannot afford for this to peter out. There just isn't time left. Jordan Henderson. Confirmation that there will be four minutes stoppage time. It is just a question of running down the clock now. So time is nearly up. One final twist. Big chance! And that is that. England have got off to an ideal start. Three points on day one, and it goes well for the campaign ahead. Your final thoughts, Jim? Listen, ideally, any new campaign needs a start that puts three points on the board, and it's mission accomplished.
England have just one thing on their minds, and that is to ensure that that coveted place in the knockout stages is theirs after 90 minutes. They have the luxury of knowing it is in their own hands. Three points would be plenty to see them through. However, anything less than that, and it could become precarious. A look on the faces of the players, nothing but utterly focused. They know what they have to do. A big performance now will count. This, of course, one of the most recognisable venues in the Netherlands, perhaps the whole of the continent. It is the Johan Cruyff Arena. So they need a win. They need a win to get them over the line. Well, Peter, the, the question that comes to mind is how much do they want it? These players know that this could be the gateway for, for bigger things. Progression for starters brings greater financial reward. It increases the brand power and can enhance the whole business side of things. Individual player profile elevation is also a huge incentive. Careers can be catapulted from this. It's worth remembering. And already we're underway here. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Harry Kane. He's a deadly finisher, Peter, obviously, but he can contribute much more than that for his team. He's got the physical presence to hold the ball up and the awareness to bring pretty much everyone else into play. His best attributes, however, might be his, his enthusiasm, his energy and his desire to win because those things become infectious to others. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Complaints about that challenge, robust but fair. Just the keeper to beat, tries a shot. Goal, England! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the train again because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really can look forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. England take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. That's the way you go about things if you want to qualify. It's superb. Has gone out. McTominay. McTominay plays it forward. Scotland have opted. Big chance, must be! He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Chilwell. Hoists it forward. Sterling. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. He's not played the ball, that's a foul. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Get that clear. to get it away England have it back and they can go again Sterling that is terrific skill and Sterling and the whistle goes for half time so there you have it a close sport half of football but it still had its moments but ultimately produced just one goal well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. England leading 1-0 at the break. And the game has already resumed here. England just about have their noses in front. 
Robertson. McTominay. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's pinged one through here. Real chance! Oh, he's managed to get it all wrong. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak. Alexander Arnold. Stones. Sterling pushes to get on the end of it. better ball would have led to a very different outcome there uh, that was just poor decision making and a weak execution <laughs> crunching tackle that's pretty clear it is a foul and the referee has shown him a yellow card the shots Robertson Scotland showing a little more urgency now and to be honest Peter this is what's required well hit and hope is just about the sum of it isn't it Jim spot on Peter oh this looks promising got to make this count Gets the better of his man. Scotland are enjoying lots of possession, but they just can't find any penetration. And the defence can get it clear. has gone, presumably, for offside. England are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Scotland are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. And it's played forward. Scotland need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. That'll be a throw. Well, there's going to be another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. He's picked him out. Gets away from his opponents. Rashford. Promising cross. Massive leap! And he's straight offside. Keeper sends it forward. Cooper does well to read it and intercepts. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. And I'll just see the thrill amongst the players. They have made it into the knockout stage. So another win. That's two from two. And it is looking.
So welcome one and all to our live coverage of the ongoing group stage here. The tournament making steady progress towards its knockout phase. We'll be ready to go once the final checks are carried out. We have a hugely expectant crowd here. We just hope that the game lives up to the atmosphere. Stadio Olimpico, a venue that has an old-school feel about it. And already we're underway here. Madison. That's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Abraham. Rashford. Rose really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Oh, the question, that's a foul. It's Rashford! Just sails past the upright. Rashford probably tried a bit too hard then. He should have relied on technique as opposed to power. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. put a stop to that well there's a lot of movement out wide now yeah, you can certainly see that well I think it's a move to open the game up more whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now Rashford well, the defense got the better of him this time but I'm sure he'll go again well, he's made sure that that won't get through Oxlade Chamberlain. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no nonsense defending. Gets away from his opponent. And he's there to hoof it away. Madison with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Rashford drives it forward. Suchi goes back to base. Well, that's where he wants it. Well played, he saw that coming. Gomez. Mings. Winks. Gomez. Oxlade Chamberlain. Trippier. In by Trippier. And the whistle goes for half time. So now the team has broken through. <laughs> for the one time. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? I think it's been a very impressive defensive effort. They've never been broken down and contained the opposition attack extremely well. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. So we're just settling back into this second half. England clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Deflected over the goal line for a corner. And he 
just whacks it away. And it's played forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Brings it forward. It's come loose. In by Chippier. Up to meet it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Oh, this was all about good movement in the box just to allow him to get to it. Well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Tries to get it forward quickly. Cut out in the nick of time. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Sancho gets it back. It looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Across the field it goes. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Hoists it forward. Oh, good interception. Suchi. Forward it goes. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. Trippier plays it forward. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Gets his head to it! He will be livid with himself. <laughs> the changes then in quick succession. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. to get it forward quickly. Just five minutes remaining now. Crunching tackle. That's pretty clear, it is a foul. There could be trouble here. And so now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. A heavy challenge, and he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. Now it's Sterling. Cuts it out. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. Little cutting edge at either end.
Well, it's knockout time. It is still, of course, just a game of football, but it is a different game of football in terms of its mood. I don't think that you could get away with telling any of these players, let alone the crowd assembled here, that this is anything like what went before. As far as winning the competition is concerned, every game from this point on is win or bust. It is knockout football time. Wonderful scenes here in the Dutch capital inside this terrific arena. One that does more than justice to the stature of the man whose name it bears. Well, this is a noisier occasion all round. Everybody, Jim, knows what's at stake here. Well, Peter, knockout competitions require knockout mindsets. There has to be a more dynamic edge to the whole approach, whether from going ahead or replying to going behind. This is when the adventure kicks in, and you have to be mentally prepared for a more intense pressure. The action has already started. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Raheem Sterling. He could be the key man for me, Peter, because he's so quick and direct with the ball at his feet. And that low centre of gravity also makes it... Hits one! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Pogba. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Henderson tries to get it forward quickly. Kante battles to win it back. Pogba goes long. He's in space and looking for options. Ball's loose, who's getting there? That's a throw. It is deadlocked. Stones. Stones plays it forward. Looking for space out wide. Going for goal! Goal, England! Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very soon. Kane is the obvious danger now here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. England have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Well, registering that crucial first goal has now given them more incentive and, and motivation to take this on. Deftly done. That's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Keeper sends it forward. Just brushed off the ball there. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Mbappe. Oh, some tackle that. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. brings the first half to a close. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. England, back for the dressing room, in possession of a 1-0 lead. Already up and running for the second half. 
A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. And the defence can get it clear. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Not much. Oh, that's a foul in a dangerous area. Ben Yedda, he's got away. Rice. Now it's Sterling. Come back to the keeper. Zuma with the crossfield ball. Oh, they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit. A bit of creativity and adventure. Stones with the slide tackle there. Could move up a gear here. It's a promising ball. Kane gets the better of his man. Kane! Not to surprise the keeper, but missed the target. I actually fancied him to score then, but we should give the keeper credit for, for doing his bit. France are making a change now. Griezmann looks to get on the end of this. Jordan Henderson. Oh, good ball. That looks a good ball. Cleared away. Is there any support? He might not need it. Real chance! Oh, that is rather wayward. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. The changes then in quick succession. Well, the referee's seen the board and he's got to allow a double change to go ahead now. Chance! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so... It's no surprise. Popper. Well, it seems obvious that the plan is to, to try and get their passing game going again, but not with that lack of quality. And it's hoisted clear. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. Rashford. Jordan Henderson. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough for Big chance! Must be! France need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. England just have to run down the clock. Looks to clip it forward. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Time and again, they are repelled. Maguire. Chilwell. Chilwell clips one through. He's got options out wide. Gets up to head it! And that is the last effort of the game. Victory in round one. Still plenty to do, of course, but one huge step forwards. Would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Well, the result matters more than the performance. This team can grind and keep grinding.
So we're down to the last eight. The competition you sense rapidly heading towards its big climax. A dash for the finishing line, the showpiece final. Welcome to our live coverage on quarter-final day. It is good to have you with us. And you can see that the atmosphere is building very nicely. Super noise, grand level of expectation, and that is... Un That's a hit! There's an early warning shot across the bow. Yeah, he'll be a little vexed with himself, having done well to get there first. Great lead! Goal! Poland! And it's Poland who take the lead! Just so calm under pressure. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Poland have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Sancho, now it's Kane. England have it back and they can go again. Kane! We can get that clear. And it's still... Has a pop! Back in business! That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. You know, what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it, he chose placement instead and delivered a peach. England at the equaliser and we're all square. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal. They just got caught napping. And it's played forward. Zielinski tried to play it through. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. Rice drives it forward. Dashing forward at pace. Sancho plays it out to the flank. And that's out of reach. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Sterling. Tries to get it forward quickly. Just brushed off the ball there. Chilwell has it in a wide position. Up to meet it! Oh, she's needed a better contact. Well, being able to generate that amount of activity in the box means it's hard not to pick someone out. Hoists it forward. Zielinski has created one goal. Rice is the guilty party there. Half-time whistle goes, what it has been, an even contest, as the scoreline suggests, and it has been more than decent to watch. Any strong opinions on the first half? Look, this match promised goals, and it certainly hasn't let us down. It's been really, really entertaining.
Well, the scoreline indicates a pretty tight game, but there has been a lot of action in it, and it has been an exceptionally good watch. The score at half-time, 1-1. So we're just settling back into this second half. No changes at the interval from either side. Kane. Kovac can it clear. Henderson goes looking. Gets up to head it! Oh, not the best of headers. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? Forward it goes. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. He's been bundled over, that is a foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. <laughs> Lewandowski! We all love a trier, Peter, but the wiser choice would have been ball into box. Forward it goes. Gets away from his opponent. Gets the chance to cross. Click. Tries to get it forward quickly. Pass needed to be better than that. He knows it. Glick. Had a foul. Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Oh, that's a booking. Always looked it. Now, click crosses in a low one. And they've been caught out here. Now it's Kane. Hoists it forward. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. And it's played forward. Oh, real danger here! Rashford has a hit! And no, he couldn't find the finish. Kane has delivered a really costly miss. It could have been their last chance to win it. Poland are making a change now. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. really is now or never they need a goal however it comes well both sides might have to settle for a draw here although there's still a chance for one last fling played out to the right it's deflected over the goal line for a corner there's going to be another change here yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd... He's had a shot! He's been off try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back.
So nothing between them in 90 minutes, and we are in for extra time. Yeah, this has been a hard-fought game, Peter. There's been a healthy dose of drive and ambition, and sometimes that is rewarded with goals just like this one. I've seen a lot worse, though. Well, fitness and fatigue, the key factors now as we head for extra time. The hostilities have already resumed. Sterling with a delicate ball. He's on it. It's Kane! No, that wasn't kidding anyone. Look, you've got to have the perfect feel in your boots to, uh, to pull those off. Stones. Sterling. What an adventurous run from a defender. Zielinski, Glick gets into a dangerous position. He's come loose. Oh, that is asking for trouble. <laughs> Extra time reaches half time. Well, it may well be a case of who's got most to give now. Fitness levels look good, and it's not only less competitive. Is there to be drama in these final 15 minutes? This really has been thrilling. Both sides going at it, and now for the final act. And it's Sterling. Chance! Has a goal! Oh, it's in! Late in the day! This could well be it! Time and space are plenty, he was never going to miss. Kane is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. England go into the lead. Surprise, surprise. He just keeps on delivering, and listen, we all expect that. Out to the left it goes. Sterling goes for the cross. Rashford, Rashford has a shot! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Bedarek tries to get it forward quickly. Almost there, and the players can feel it. There's a long ball. Sterling. Looks to drop one in. That intervention was very necessary. Made towards the front men. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. England have got it done through to the last four and evidently now believing in it. Your final thoughts, Jim? So it is semi-final day, business end in the ultimate show of the summer, which has gone on for a good part of a month already, but it is safe to say we are on the home straight. 24 teams began it, 20 have bid farewell, and now we are down to the last four, hoping for those two dream tickets to the final. I really don't think we could have hoped for much more in terms of atmosphere. Tremendous shows of friendship, which has been an overriding theme of these championships all over the continent, as fans have travelled from far. Memphis the pie! Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. 
Chilwell. It's a good run down the left-hand side. Sterling. And it's played forward. Van Dijk. Van Dijk plays it forward. And it's Van Arnholt. The Netherlands are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it, and yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. OK. Now it's Sterling. A chance! Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Now it's Memphis Depay. To Rome. It has got Van der Beek! Oh, good effort, he got plenty on that. Oh, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. Sancho. Sancho goes looking. Oh, real danger here! Little doubt, that is a foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. Forward it goes. Memphis Depay. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. Just brushed off the ball there. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And it's Kane. Tries to... Hits one! A real chance and a real let-off. England just served up a reminder of how good they can be on the break. The method is clear. OK. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. De Ligt tries to get it forward quickly. Patrick van Arnholt. Now it's Memphis Depay. Now it's Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum. Great challenge. Time to perfection. Rice. Half time in the semi final. So the other team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. An engrossing half. But we're still where we started. Well there. The action is back on the way. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. 
It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Has a goal! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Sancho. A heavy challenge. Goes down, but nothing given. Sancho puts his foot on the gas. OK. Patrick van Arnholt. Still absolutely nothing to report here, goals-wise. Van Arnholt. OK. Ake with the cross. Oh, shooting chance! Henderson drives it forward. Hoists it forward. Sancho needed to come up with a better ball. Uh, it was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. And it's Kane. It's a promising ball. Going through. Shot at goal! Defending of the desperate variety. Memphis Depay. Closing in on the last quarter of an hour. Plenty of action at either end, just nothing to show for it. Yes, and it's been far from uneventful. We've had a healthy amount of attempts at goal from both teams, and with this kind of ambition, we may not have to wait too long. Durum gets it out to the wing. Van der Beek. He's got away. Durum. And the flag has stayed down. Has a pop! Oh, surely that deserved better. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. And the referee has brought play back and shown him a yellow card. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. And helps available out wide. Lovely bit of skill there. It's a great ball. Cut out in the nick of time. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Couple of changes then in quick succession. Well, he's worked so hard for a side, uh, as you would expect, but... He couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Whistle's gone, and they've got themselves a free kick. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket, it's just a stern lecture. Final whistle is imminent, but I do think he'll allow time for this free kick. And we have the first dead ball situation of the game, promising one. Going for goal! Oxlade Chamberlain. That's it, we're going to get 30 minutes more. Well, the scoreline may have a disappointing look about it, Peter, but that's where it ends. I think this game has had a real lively feel, and I'm not ready to give up on it yet. So to clarify, extra time will follow. And if you're just back, the action is back on the way already. Plays it out to the flank. Rashford with the cross. That's a case of crossing and hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. It's a loose ball. 
Incoming cross. Towering header! Oh, I just couldn't turn it in. Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases the chances of the ball being met like that by someone. De Ligt with a searching ball. Stones does well to read it and intercepts. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Tries to get it forward quickly. Ake. It's come loose. Time reaches half time. It is starting to feel as though there is an inevitability about penalties here. I think that both teams still want to win it in the final 15 minutes. The question is, can the players go that far? We are already up and running again. Nil nil still. Play to win or play for penalties. Reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, look, regardless of whether the keeper could have done better or not, Peter, that was all down to the excellent movement in getting into the right position to apply the final touch. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. The room and it's played forward. Rashford, it's Rashford. Lovely idea, just didn't get it right. Well, it could have been and probably should have been a, a different choice of finish. There was lower space to hit. Dashing forward at pace. He's one-on-one, -on -one. surely he's gone for it! And there goes the final whistle. England have done it. Into the final, and they can taste glory now. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, to go this far, it has to be on merit, with substance. And this is more evidence of uh, worthy contestants. England are looking here at the chance to become a part of football history. We've had the greater part of a month of endless football. These championships have been full of talking points and debates, and it has been thrilling to be engaged in it. Euro 2020 has been special, memorable, magical for so many reasons. The fans have been unforgettable, as has the drama they have witnessed. It has never stopped giving and as the curtain opens for the very last time, we look forward now to joining in the final chapter. The grandest game in this summer's grand event, and we are thrilled to have you with us for it. This game being played at Wembley Stadium, which is, in the eyes of so very many, the venue as far as football is historically concerned. And we rise now for the English National Anthem.
thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. Well, for the players on both sides, this is their date with destiny. A chance to ensure their place in football history. It is without doubt, Peter, the greatest show we have this summer. And the fact that this is like a celebratory edition too makes it that little bit more special, doesn't it? I've certainly enjoyed it, giving us a, a fair share of just about everything we've come to expect from a competition of this magnitude. And yes, let's hope that it gets the perfect send-off. And we're on the way. Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and, and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. Gets away from his opponents. Shade too heavy. Keeper can pick that up. Ericsson. He plays it out to the wing. He gets past his man. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter, once he got into that position. It's not as if he didn't have people nearby. Looks to clip it for. Henderson. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Kasper Schmeichel sends that a long way. That. I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. Out to the right. Sterling lobs it in gently, done very well to intervene. Denmark have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Forward it goes, breaks on here. And it's Eriksen. That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. Decent hit and on target. And that's exactly the type of adventure we want to see in the final two, Peter. And it's a pity it didn't cause the net to bulge. Ericsson. Plays it out to the flank. Real chance! Right there! Denmark back on level terms. 
the lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footage, so great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. That has certainly made things interesting. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well-matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. And it's Chilwell. Well, there's the whistle. The first half of the final has flown by. So, a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. So, Jim, the halfway point of the final. What are you thinking? I think both teams have played their part in what's been a, a pretty tight affair, and this is exactly the type of match now when the better players can come to the fore and make all the difference. England head into the dressing room after a half in which we've seen two goals, one each, and the game right on edge. So we're just settling back into this second half. Christensen. Clear cut, that's a free kick. And no surprise, that's a booking. Well, this is worrying, he is not the sort of player who tends to stay down. Chance! Oh, just misses past the post. Cornelius almost put a side ahead with a, a pretty fierce attempt. He really spanked that. Alexander Arnold. He's found his man. a super header, dispatched beautifully. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. England go into the lead. Well, it's good stuff, this is better. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. Was there ever any doubt? Yeah, and he knew all along what he wanted to do, and it's a really great instinctive finish. England with two up and into a position of real strength. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Rice. Place it towards the front. Now a chance to break. Sancho. He's left his man. Sees it out of harm's way. Keeper's got good distance on that. Looking to break out here. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. And now they can launch a counter. Belts one. Oh, he's made sure that that won't get through. Delaney plays it forward. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Goes long. Now it's Sterling. That is terrific skill. It's been 
played forward. Maguire gets into the right position to intercept. Rice does well there, alert. Alexander Arnold. Sancho looks to dink one in. He's a clever pass. Turns and goes back. Shapes to shoot! There was plenty of power. And that's that. England celebrates. They are the continent's ultimate team, winners of the European Championship. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.